What's up guys, it's your boy Mikael Casanova coming to you with yet another video. And in this video I'm going to be talking about one of the most amazing experiences in the gaming that I've ever had in quite some time. Like a game that's legitimately had me addicted to it and I haven't even beat it yet. And I'm putting this review up because this is a game that I don't hear enough of mainstream media talking about. But the hardcore gamers are always here talking about this game. If you're wondering what I'm talking about, it is definitely going to be this game. Not, not sure if it's called Neo or Nile. I believe in the Japanese correct pronunciation would be Neo. But for the sake of coolness, I would call it Nile because it just sounds cooler. So this is going to be a video about whether you should cop. Or not. So, I got one question to ask you. Do you want to Now you may be wondering if Nio is a game that you should really be investing your time with, especially when there's so many monumental games coming out in the next couple months from Nier Automata, the reveal of the Nintendo Switch, or actually the release rather, as well as Horizon Zero Dawn, which seems like it would be a blockbuster. Now I know in this time, it's so little time with so many titles dropping, and you might be wondering, is this game Nio worth it? Especially with the fact that it did not receive a lot of publicity. And it kind of just dropped after having one beta test that was public. So, I'm here to quell all your, feel, your fears. And, yes, this game is fucking worth it. This game is amazing. I'm, I'm not even joking right now. Now, your character, William is based on a historical sailor that actually existed back in the 1500s, or 1600s, rather. And we'll go ahead and just leave it at that, because I don't want to spoil the story. I will say that it is very much impossible to not compare this game to the Soul series, especially the Bloodborne series that's just been started by From Software. It has the same type of mechanics, so the risk versus reward system as well as the death system. So if you die, you if you find where you died, you can go and collect the items and spirits. Or in this game, they're called Enrita, not souls. So Enrita is used as a system of currency, if you will. Now it's used to level up your character, to give yourself new skills and abilities. And that's all great. So it does borrow, this game does definitely borrow from the Soul series. But it also has some differences, and I'll go ahead and touch on those. Now when it comes to combat, you're going to see a couple things that separate this starkly from the Soul series. And it's the fact that their combat system is significantly improved over Souls. Think of this closer to like an, a slower paced Ninja Gaiden mix with Onomusha in a way. It's all about stances, timing, and the type of weapon and how you play. Now if you're going to play this game where you're going to just rush in, guns blazing, swinging swords everywhere, you're going to die. And the whole thing about this game is you're going to die regardless. There's no way of not dying unless you're some freakishly good player. The stance system, since we're going to go ahead and go over to combat, gives you three different options. There's high, medium, and low. Now with your weapons, if you're in a high stance, you get more powerful moves at the cost of speed. Medium gives you a perfect average power and speed. And then if you're using a low stance, you get faster 
but weaker moves. And let's not forget about stamina. That's also something they heavily borrow from the Soul Series. Now, stamina is affected by everything you do from weapon swinging to dodging to sprinting. The thing you have to do is find a balance between damaging your enemies and conserving your stamina. And in that regard, Nio perfectly achieves that. In the beginning of the game, the sheer amount of items that you can loot can make it a bit unmanageable. However, through time, the game provides you with several systems to get rid of your loot to turn either into money or Emrita. Once these systems become fully utilized, it is a much easier way to manage the crazy amount of weapons, armor, and items you will collect. Even then, it is best not to get too attached to the weapon you currently have because you're going to get five newer ones on the next level. However, if you're truly fond of the weapon that you currently have, Neo or Nio allow, will allow you to take it to the blacksmith and get its soul matched to a higher level by sacrificing another weapon. In other words, you can take a purple level 4 sword that has a special bonus for killing yokai, Nio's term for demons, and upgrade it to a purple level 10 sword with the same bonus. The catch is, you need to sacrifice a level 10 weapon to make the upgrade. And it's an interesting system because you can use a common weapon to sacrifice while holding on to a great rare weapon. You can use it to ignore most of the weapons you collect and stick with the one you love if you are a player who does not want to deal with all the loot management. And at a certain point, however, it would not become worth it to keep upgrading the weapon you will want and you'll eventually want to move on. Even so, this flexibility is another example of how Nio gives you more freedom in certain aspects in the Dark Souls games. You also have complete control over the what, which type of armor and pieces of armor and your weapon actually looks like. The blacksmith will take any piece and change it to look like any other piece you have already collected. Just got a new helmet, but it looks ridiculous. All you gotta do is change it and make it look like anything you want. This flexibility was completely refreshing, and it would be great to see other games adopt a similar idea. Now we can move on to multiplayer. Yes, this game does have multiplayer, and yes, it is basically a copycat of the Soul series. So, multiplayer in Nio is great, and once again, Team Ninja have taken the ideas from the Soul series. So, I can't fully credit them with being original, but what I can credit them with is their execution. The multiplayer features are easy to use and they work very well. I was able to connect very quickly with the other players and connection remains solid and smooth throughout the entire experience. There are several ways to participate in multiplayer at the moment. As of right now, there are all player versus enemy experience, so you will not be able to duel an actual living opponent quite yet. Team Ninja have said that they will plan to release the feature as an upcoming DLC to make up for the fact that players would want to actually have a PvP experience. Now, what they currently have to make up for that is a way to allow players to see the death spots of other gamers playing the same level. And by activating the spirit, they will summon an AI controlled version of the player's character. And while it is not human in point, these battles can be quite challenging because the game will make sure that it copies the playstyle of the player that was previously there. Now when it comes to the playtime and replayability, I've already sunk 50 hours into this game. And I feel like I'm still scratching the surface because there seems to be so much more that can be done in this game and it's just un incomprehensible for me to take in everything within the first few days of its release. Have I beat the game? No. But I've already put so much time and energy and effort into it that it's simply so much stuff that needs to be done and I'm thinking I'm going to take my time to digest all of this game. Team Ninja wants their players to take their time with Nio and fully master its systems. And there's a lot to be digested in this game and the deeper you go, the more savory it becomes. Now if you're all thinking about my overall review of this, and if I actually would recommend it, then yes, greatly so. Especially if you're a fan of action RPGs, tough and very combat, and you're pretty much a loot junkie, then yes, this is a game for you. 
if you love the Soul series, but you want something different, then check this out. If you love Bloodborne, you thought it was amazing. Or even if you like Lords of the Falling, you thought that game was awesome, which it was. Go ahead and give this a try. I love the fact that this game gives you so much to be enamored with. Even if the story leaves something to be desired. I will say this though, in closing this review, Team Ninja was able to execute all the ideas that they borrow from software and execute them in a way that was masterfully done, that only they could. Only time will tell. We're going to go ahead and get into graphics and sound, and truthfully, in Nile, they look amazing. I love the art design that has been chosen because it really allowed for the look and feel to be unique. The look of your weapons and armor as they begin to turn red from the blood from your enemies is really, really well done. And I love the design of the different levels as they all manage to have their own unique feel and it's incredibly easy to lose yourself in the beautiful sights and sounds for a few seconds when you're just wandering around. Now, the sound, that's just, it's, it's just amazing. This, this is so atmospheric. There's always some type of audio and visual cue for things that happen in the game. One example would be when an enemy spots you, the music always gives you the same clue and your mini-map will flash red. These small touches make it easy to keep track of what is going on at all times. One of the things a lot of people would like to know is if the story within Nioh is actually worth it. And I'm going to be honest and say it's not one of the stronger parts of the game. But what can you really expect when it comes to Team Ninja? They don't really deliver on strong story experiences, but they do deliver when it comes to combat. So, I'll be truthful, the narrative that Team Ninja is trying to tell throughout the experience, it never really comes together. And it kind of feels like the story's there, so it's just for the sake of them being able to say it's there. Well, I'll keep it brief and spoil it free. So, there's an evil man named Ever Kelly who is trying to gather up the magical Emerita for evil purposes. Your main character, which is William Adams, who is based off the historical real English sailor of the same name, follows Kelly to Japan in order to get justice. I don't feel like they ever really flesh out the reasons for much of the things that go on. And, you know, there's also demons known as Yokai that are taking over the land. And it truly feels like an excuse simply to have different enemy types in the game. It's forgivable because it works, but, you know, truthfully, it could have been done a lot better. But we got that out of the way. So there's also guardian spirits that William can see and interact with in the story. There are animal spirits that can possess humans and imbue their weapons with magical powers. They're, these are some of the most colorful characters in the story, but they still seem at odds with the gritty and brutal combat. At the end of the day, I think they did an excellent job, and this game is definitely worth it. So this definitely gets the Casanova seal of approval. You should cop this right now. And that wraps up this video for Nio, Neo, Nio, Neo, however you want to say it. This game is phenomenal, and it is definitely something that I say you should go out and immediately buy. The thing that was amazing to me about this was just the, the stance system within it, and then the fact of the customization. It takes elements of Dark Souls. Yes, I, I cannot state it more than that. It does have a lot of similarities to Dark Souls. But in my opinion, it takes what Dark Souls did and makes it so much better. So, if there's a game that combines Ninja Gaiden with Bayonetta and Devil May Cry, like, antics, but puts in type of uh, Onomusha-style gameplay, it's going to be Nayo. And... Honestly, this is a game you need to get. So, in this episode of Cop or Not, you need to go ahead and cop this. Alright, I'll catch you guys in the next video. And, as always, if you guys want to win an Nintendo Switch for free, go ahead and check out the description below. It'll have a link to the video. And all you gotta do is like, share, comment, and subscribe. And use the hashtag Mikhail Giveaway. So, until next time, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces. Everybody drinks on me, everybody in this bitch drink for free Give me a whiskey double, a little bit of deck is always trouble 
and I'm feeling good. Let the man with only need to prove a reason's wood. Next up, straight to the DJ. Tell him play whatever song she said. Her body is a mystery. 